All right, good morning. I'm gonna try to build the, uh, the vertical th bearing 360. It's the one that mounts on the x-axis and it uh, has two sets of three knuckle bearing type. Uh, it's supposed to replicate a linear bearing. Uh, this instead of bushings. This went away with the Perusa Mandel design. It was overall decided that it was kind of rough and hard to build. Yeah, to me it is the hardest part of the entire build because there's so much going on. Uh, what you basically need is this piece to start with and I'm going to build it from one side to the other trying to build it up piece by piece. So what you need is this and this is a bar clamp. So bar clamp mounts right there. Grab yourself a I believe this is a 45 an M4 45 millimeter with washer. Slide that through slide it on one more and you're in all right now something unique about this is you have to put regular hex nuts on here not nylock regular hex nuts when I could tell in all the drawings just regular hex nuts don't thread them all the way down make them keep them as long as possible regular hex nuts okay let's do the same thing well yeah let's do the same thing on the other side it really wouldn't matter on this at this point. We make sure the curved part is on the inside. We want to make sure the curved part's on the inside. Stick that on so your bar clamp can work just fine. And if it's a little irregular, that's fine. Uh, it just creates different uh, different type of friction on it, so the bar stays in place. Again, two regular hex, hex nuts. Thread those down a little bit. Okay, now you can just set one aside and start with one and work your way on to the other. So this piece, this is a, it's supposed to be a block. Mine's a little op, op, lopsided all the way through. Can you see that? You can go all the way through. That's supposed to sit right on top of those nuts we installed earlier. It's supposed to keep those nuts in place. So we'll try to keep that in place while we finish the rest of the build. Now the center, the heart of this, is this nut cap. It captures the nut, your uh, M8 nut. Set it right in there. Put another cap on it, and now you have a little case. This is what actually pulls and pushes the uh, Z drive up and down. Now, this has to go right there on top on that side. You need another 45 washer and bolt. One more. Actually, three more. Push that in there, and there you go. That's what it should look like so far. You want from one side to the other. No nuts have been installed other than those four hex nuts. Uh, that's four hex nuts, and that's only because you can't do it later. You can't put them back on later. They have to be on now. I learned that the hard way. Okay, so that's what you should have right now at this point. Okay, then, kind of gets tricky from here. You have to take these 360 bearings the parts form, match them up correctly so they look like that. Open in on one side, close on the other. You want to take the closed side, stand this up a little bit, and put them closest to the center. So you're going to need a 45 with a washer, Slide that through the bottom. Make sure it looks like this. Okay, you can see my little bolt capture fell off, so I'm gonna try to keep that on while I work. It's a big old mess. Okay, so that's on. You can leave that loose. You need another 45. Now this is where things get tricky. Slide that through, and right when it comes through to the 360 bearing or the bracket, put a washer on it. Then put a small bearing on it, and another small washer. Set that plastic part right up on there, and all the way through. So you're almost there. You're about halfway there on this point. I'm gonna flip it around, do the same thing on the other side. 
All right, we can set this aside until we actually get ready to put our other faceplate on. Make sure everything's nice and snug a little bit. These bolts do want to slide on out, so. Okay, now, this is when we put this other piece that we built earlier on. Same, same way this other one's set up. Uh, kind of guide it on there. I'm gonna flip it over so I can work on the mounts on there. Now see, this is why we needed this block in there earlier. Because if you tighten this down, you won't be able to get this in, and that's what captures those nuts and allows the bar clamp to work. So let's slide that in there. Make sure the nuts catch, otherwise they'll be threading on the outside of it and they won't work. That's how it should look. Notice the giant gap of my RP part, so I'm getting new ones. Okay, so now go ahead and slide your bolts through that second piece you just installed. All right, all the way through, all the way through. Now everything should pretty much stick together. I'm pressing them with my thumbs right here, keeping all the bearings together. I got a washer, two bearings. Everything's in there. Okay, some more washers on each one of the ends of these bolts. Nylock nuts. They say you can't use them more than once. I haven't had had them being too loose after using them once or twice. But if you're crazy fanatic about it, go ahead and buy a new set, a new box of them. They're fairly inexpensive. Everything, all the nuts and bolts are still loose right now. I haven't tightened anything down. Kind of tricky on that one. Make sure you have washers up against every piece of plastic you build against where a washer meets a nut, or I mean a plastic piece meets a nut. In between plastic parts, it's not so bad. Okay. That's what it looks like. I probably should have put washers on the inside of those. Yeah, let me do that. I'm going to fast forward through me fixing that one sec. We're back. I got them on uh, new washers on there. I had a little piece of uh, plastic sticking right there, so I had to scrape that off with a hex and drive. No big deal. All right, so th basically you can go ahead and tighten some of these up now. Just a little snug. You don't want to tighten up the belt drives because the more you tighten it up, the more it backs off that uh, inside. So what you want to tighten up right now would be the, to the top side where your M8 nut is trapped. You can go ahead and tighten that up. So let me go ahead and get that started and I'll fast forward through that. These nuts and bolts are nice and tight where the clamp or the uh, hex nut is in there. All right, in there. It's ready to go. But now we still need to finish up the bearing system. Uh, the build on the website calls for the, the cap to be on the outside of the bearing out here. On the outside, on this side of the bracket. Uh, that's fine and dandy, but I do find it hard to get a Allen drive on the other side of that. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse that bolt. I'm going to put it on the inside because I, I can always get an, an Allen key in there. I can't always get a nut off or in there. So, all right, yeah. So let me go ahead and thread that. Oh, don't forget the washer again. Grab the washer, and you can uh, you can put these bearings on before you start the whole assembly. That's fine. I just wanted them to be out of the way so that you guys can see what I was working on. And I believe these are, I want to say M4 tens, M4 tens. Not too sure. Still trying to get used to the whole metric thing. Another. That's how you want to do it. You want to do a bolt, washer, bearing, washer. Slide that on. Put a wash on the other side, and then in that. So those are on. That's how it's supposed to look. This is 
supposed to put the threaded rod right through the middle, make it nice and tight. I'll do the other thing, the same thing on the other side, and I'll fast forward through that. Okay, got the other side on. So I have two sets of knuckles, just to simulate that linear drive. Let's see if I'm... Uh, you might notice that there are still some holes left. I need to use one more 45, and these are supposed to be tighteners, so that if the belt or the, uh, the, the bar is too loose, you can go ahead and tighten it using this, this bolt. I haven't had to use it yet. As soon as you tighten everything up, it seems to be pretty firm. So you just leave it uh, snug, not tight at all, just snug to the uh, bolt against the plastic and you'll be fine. And that is how everything's supposed to look. That's the 360 bearing. Everything's nice and loose still. Captive nut actually drives up and down your Z drive. Uh, and bar clamps. That's what this thing is designed to make. And you have your, your uh, bar tighteners there in case they're way too loose, which they probably won't be. I'm going to tighten everything up, and then I can put it on my x-axis. And that's it. And it took about, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes with a few mistakes in there. And uh, that's, that's that. Hope this helps someone. Thanks.